June 10th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms, chapters 54 and 55 from the Old Testament. O God, deliver me by your name, vindicate me by your power. O God, listen to my prayer, pay attention to what I say. For foreigners attack me, ruthless men who do not respect God, seek my life. Selah. Look, God is my deliverer, the Lord among those who support me. May those who wait to ambush me be repaid for their evil. As a demonstration of your faithfulness, destroy them. With a free will offering, I will sacrifice to you. I will give thanks to your name, O Lord, for it is good. Surely he rescues me from all trouble, and I triumph over my enemies. Listen, O God, to my prayer. Do not ignore my appeal for mercy. Pay attention to me and answer me. I am so upset and distressed. I am beside myself. Because of what the enemy says and because of how the wicked pressure me, for they hurl trouble down upon me and angrily attack me. My heart beats violently within me. The horrors of death overcome me. Fear and panic overpower me. Terror overwhelms me. I say, I wish I had wings like a dove. I would fly away and settle in a safe place. Look, I will escape to a distant place. I will stay in the wilderness. Selah. I will hurry off to a place that is safe from the strong wind and the gale. Confuse them, O Lord. Frustrate their plans. For I see violence and conflict in the city. Day and night they walk around on its walls while wickedness and destruction are within it. Disaster is within it. Violence and deceit do not depart from its public square. Indeed, it is not an enemy who insults me, or else I could bear it. It is not one who hates me, who arrogantly taunts me, or else I could hide from him. But it is you, a man like me, my close friend in whom I confided. We would share personal thoughts with each other. In God's temple we would walk together among the crowd. May death destroy them, may they go down alive into Sheol, for evil is in their dwelling place and in their midst. As for me, I will call out to God and the Lord will deliver me. During the evening, morning, and noontime, I will lament and moan and he will hear me. He will rescue me and protect me from those who attack me even though they greatly outnumber me. God, the one who has reigned as king from long ago, will hear and humiliate them. Selah. They refuse to change and do not fear God. He attacks his friends. He breaks his solemn promises to them. His words are as smooth as butter, but he harbors animosity in his heart. His words seem softer than oil, but they are really like sharp swords. Throw your burden upon the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never allow the godly to be upended. But you, O God, will bring them down to the deep pit. Violent and deceitful people will not live even half a normal lifespan. But as for me, I trust in you. God, I have a friend. You already know who he is, and he's doing amazing things for your kingdom. His heart has been in a dark place for a very long time, and he's turning all of that around. He has turned so much of it around, and all because of you and your faithfulness to him. He is working on ways that he can change his business so that he can devote more time and energy and money to ministry, to your kingdom. And I know with as excited as I am watching his life change, that you're even more excited than I am. But God, today I just pray for him. I pray, I pray for protection for him. You know that he's under persecution and not just the verbal heaviness of persecution that many of us have to deal with. But you know he's actually under physical persecution. There's very few of us, at least here in the United States, there's very few, few of us who've ever had to be physically attacked for our beliefs. 
and yet he was. God, I, I pray for his healing. I pray thankfulness to you that the beating wasn't worse than it was. I pray as his ministry continues to grow that you will continue to watch out for him. He's obviously causing a lot of people discomfort uh, as well as devil, the devil himself. And I know that this is all good, but it is hard for me to watch a friend of mine who I care very much about be physically beaten for standing up for you, God. God, I pray for people who are being persecuted all over the world. I know that there's people in worse situations than my friend who are being threatened by death every day for believing in you and passing out Bibles and holding church services. I know that at least right now we don't have that type of persecution here in the United States that as of today we still have freedom of religion. But I know that's not true in the rest of the world. And I know that if we continue the way we're going, the United States won't be part of that eventually either. As the psalm says, throw your burden upon the Lord, for he will sustain you. He will never allow the godly to be upended. And God, I just pray for your strength and your protection. Your guidance. I know that some of these situations I know that all these situations will be used for your good. That they will be used to glorify you. But I still ask for protection for those people who day in and day out are out there maintaining your ministries, talking about you, sharing the word of your son Jesus Christ dying for us on the cross. God, I know that you will protect us. I know you're fully aware of everything going on in this world. And as the psalmist says, but as for me, I trust in you. In your son's name, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.